As this trawler sets sail today, there is more to worry about than the size of the catch. Human rights. Migrant and labor issues. Environmental and climate change threats. And other sustainability concerns are at the forefront for responsible seafood businesses. Increasingly, sustainability depends on traceability. Tracing the seafood from catch to consumption. Consumers want their food to be traceable, and this is especially important in seafood. So for seafood, people want to know where the fish are caught, if the fishery is sustainable, and how the people are being treated who are catching their food. Seafood sustainability and traceability are integrally linked. So we talk about traceability as being the backbone of our sustainability program. Most vessels rely on paper-based systems where boat captains record what they capture and when, along with approximate volumes to help trace the catch. As opposed to a farm or factory, on a fishing boat, it's more difficult to provide digital connectivity. Many ethical and sustainable seafood companies still use paper-based systems to track at least part of their supply chain. Unfortunately, it's inefficient and prone to human error. To tackle the problem, Thai Union and Mars Pet Care, along with partners such as Inmarsat, launched a digital traceability pilot program in Thailand. Digital traceability in supply chains is a big step toward ensuring sustainability. We've put a satellite on a few different Thai fishing vessels, and the purpose of that is so that you can have connectivity at sea. What we're trying to do is introduce digital logbooks so that electronically and digitally we can capture that information to give a greater deal of confidence as well as full supply chain traceability. Teams were deployed to selected Thai fishing vessels to install Inmarsat's Fleet One terminals. This simple satellite system produces instant and accurate electronic data about everything from the size, location and time of a catch to crew numbers, working hours, and conditions. This is actually a new service that is designed specially for the fishing market. The Fleet One system consists of an antenna and a below deck equipment. Just log in the SIM card and go. Program Marine Task is important to the fishing market. The fishing market can see this program to watch the fishing market and see where the fishing market is located. ในส่วนของโปรแกรมนี้นะคะจะสามารถให้ผู้ใช้งานตรวจสอบข้อมูลย้อนกลับรวมไปถึงการทราบในส่วนของตำแหน่งที่ทำการจัดสัตว์น้ำประเภทของสัตว์น้ำที่ทำการประมง The electronic catch data and real-time information helps seafood companies, partners, and governments work to minimize illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. This better protects fisheries and the environment and helps uphold human rights, reducing supply chain risks for seafood companies. Success for this pilot project could really mean a significant transformation in the seafood supply chain, because uh, for the first time there will be connectivity at sea. And this not only for you know, catch data and uh, real-time information, but it will also give the opportunity to the workers at sea to connect with either their family on the land or possibly peers on other boats, but they will have a voice. As the fishing industry continues to evolve, there is increased hope this pilot project has the potential to not only improve traceability and transparency throughout Thai waters, but the greater fishing industry as well. Many of the issues that we're finding in Thailand replicate themselves in other fishing communities around the world. So we hope that the trials that we're doing here will have ramifications in fishing industries globally. 
Not only will it uh, assure um, traceability, but it will also, more importantly, it will set a new standard from an environmental and social perspective for the seafood supply chain. And uh, I truly believe that if successful, this could be transformational for uh, the seafood industry overall.